Hi, it's Angela Rutledge here from the Sick of Plastic campaign. I heard all about this restaurant called Tang in Middle Abbey Street and they're doing so much to combat plastic packaging in their business, which is really, really difficult for a restaurant to do. So I wanted to come and meet the owner, Stephen O'Dwyer, who runs the business with his sister, Claire. Stephen is doing so many things to try and make his business more sustainable, from the levy on disposable food packaging to asking his suppliers to reduce the amount of plastic they deliver when he's getting his supplies in and buying in bulk, which is a really effective way of reducing necessary packaging. He's also using a sustainable option for his cleaning, using Lily's Eco Clean and getting those drums refilled. And he has a cargo bike on the road. Last but not least, he offers a refillable water bottle option in the restaurant. Hello, I'm Stephen O'Dwyer. I uh, am the owner of Tang with my sister Claire. Um, we opened six years ago. Core ethos is give great quality product at a good price. Uh, try to do as little damage as we can to the community around us and the world at large. So the signage was arrived at through trial and error and some pushback from customers when we obviously tried to introduce a levy for takeaway salad box, takeaway coffee cup to try and encourage behavioural change. And, but we realised that if we put the headline price as the most expensive price and we have three, three sort of pricing categories whereby we've one in a disposable cup, one in a cup for here, which would be one of our ceramic cups, which would be a slightly discounted price on that, and then a further discount if you bring your own reusable cup. The same for salad boxes, and that has worked really well because it's sort of there is a carrot and stick approach, but also nobody's getting hit with anything that they're not expecting. So there's been zero pushback since that's been introduced. That's so fantastic. Yeah. And you have a great slogan over your um, water tap. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, uh, refill not landfill. Stolen from the guys in Grown, the clothing company. Um, we have engineered our menu, I suppose, in such a way that we're encouraging people to eat vegetarian, whether it be a couple of times a week or once a week um, we are trying to do energy audits and waste audits on the business not always 100% successfully but we're working on it. Tell us a little bit about what barriers uh, to recycling you experience in business if any. Like, I don't see huge barriers to recycling but I do see barriers to reducing. The bigger challenge is to try and reduce at like at the stage that we, we have control over what happens in the restaurants but like there's things that come to this restaurant that it's very difficult to figure out how to get rid of them. Do you know why are they coming here? How do we push back? Uh, we also have a cargo bike uh, so all of our deliveries whether it be catering or whether it be between the restaurants is done without any burning of fossil fuels I suppose. Right? And to be fair when you do talk to people almost always you get the positive the right sort of response and we've seen action from some of our bigger suppliers when we push back. Why don't you tell us about how you get in your detergents because that's really good. So we use uh, Lily's Eco Clean who are based out in Galway somewhere and they're a great company. All our cleaning supplies come in 25 litre drums of window spray, detergents, degreaser and we refill reusable plastic bottles. Same with our rice, 50 kilo bags come in here, some spices, most of the nuts. Are at, we buy a lot of it in bulk in nets that trying to get rid of plastic. Now the circular economy bill is back before the Oireachtas and this is going to provide a framework for the types of things that Stephen is already doing. Let's hope everyone can jump on board and if we can focus even a smidgen as much as Stephen does on being more sustainable in our business, then we're going to go a long way towards the circular economy.